Taylor is really to celebrate uh, Dr. Wiley's uh, incredible contribution and influence in the development of Endicott College. Well, it's important to put together a video, uh, I think, to try to briefly capture uh, as much as we can the spirit that is Dick Wiley and the spirit that he has infused Endicott College with. He's, he's a big person in many ways, obviously physically, but he's uh, very large of spirit. Everywhere you go, you see a, a large person with a large footprint. He is an imposing man physically and he reminds you of protection, you know. The students feel protected when they know that Dr. Wiley is the one who's making decisions on their behalf. Dr. Wiley has this charisma. Uh, it, you, you feel like you're, you're brought into it, that it's, you, you share it, you feel it. He wants to be on the leading edge of change and innovation and he wants to make sure that the jobs that we are educating students for are relevant. And so he really uh, spends a lot of time thinking about what we can do that is a little bit different to make it more relevant for the students. I just am truly impressed with his leadership abilities plus the way he interacts with the students. It's amazing. He's a very kind person, very thoughtful person, He's a very trustworthy person. All the characteristics of a, a good guy. Thank you, Dr. Wiley. Thank you, Doc. Congratulations, Doc. Dr. Wiley has had a fantastic, terrific impact on this college. We had four candidates, and they were each interested in the position and were chosen to come back and sit down with the committee. I looked at the other candidates, I listened to them. I guess it was the second time that we asked them back and they didn't compare to Dr. Wiley at all. He was the perfect fit. He was energetic and enthusiastic for us, for us all. He wanted this place to remain a college and he wanted it to grow and it has. When you think about when, when Dick Wiley became the president here, this was a defunct college. It was, uh, uh, had been a two year women's college and uh, uh, had run into major financial problems, was selling off land. Uh, and so when that entrepreneurial spirit and drive that he has had has led to where we are today. And, and, but also he's built a great team around him. And there's some really, really solid people here that, that have helped him. And as I say, everybody catches this fever around here. And, I think it all builds on itself, yeah. The first financial plan came about in 1996, and it really became a template that was able to be used to manage the institution to make sure that we were building in all areas, academics, facilities, endowment, uh, student support, all housing, all the things that you needed to be able to fire on all cylinders. Dr. Wiley's vision for the, for the college was a certain element of build it and they will come, and certainly they did come. We had a wonderful chairman of the board, Joe Callahan. They kind of worked as a team. Joe made a major contribution to this college in, in the whole area of, of construction and, and in the vision of, of growing the place. The relationship between Dr. Wiley and Joe Callahan was truly a devoted love for each other and respect for each other's opinions. Joe and, uh, uh, and Dick were uh, of course they were chairman and president, but they were much more than that. Uh, I'm not sure if it was father and son, uh, brothers, they collaborated and made a lot of stuff happen here. And Joe was always one that would be very uh, firm in his opinions and, and enthusiastic uh, in his support. Shh. Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Dr. Wiley. Thank you, Doc! Let's go! Endicott's is simply one, uh, one hot college. We've gone from 800 applicants to 4,000 applicants. Real applicants, not just uh, embellished numbers, but students who are truly interested in, in what we're doing here. Dick doesn't let us ever forget that we're all here to change lives, and we all have an impact on that each and every single day. And uh, Dick really has, uh, has, has steered the ship. No Dr. Wiley, no Endicott College. I think it's as simple as that. We're very proud of, of the, the um, 
the programs that we're allowed to run, the trust that he has in us. He doesn't come into the classroom, he doesn't want to rule the programs, he, you know, he, does, he doesn't want to shape the programs, he leaves that to us and he provides us with excellent guidance through the deans and the chairs so that we know that you know, we're supported at that mid-level as well. When our seniors come back from their semester internship, they are so much more mature, they are so much more confident, uh, they know so much more about their field. Other graduates will be beginners, our students will not be beginners. The strategy that we've used with Van Loan in terms of growth is if we need or think that there's a program in the area that we don't have expertise in, we will go and hire faculty to come and direct the programs, recruit for the programs, develop the programs. That's been our strategy and it's worked every time in the last five years that we've done that. He ends every meeting with what can I do to help, what do you need, how can I help, never seems to get bored with it after 25 years. I think that's pretty amazing. You know, what Dr. Wiley has done in, in shaping athletics, not just the entire institution, but athletics is I guess what he's done, it's, it's unusual, because I think every college president says they support athletics. Uh, he not only says it, but he, he, actually, he actually does it. He attends 95% of our games. Uh, you know, our, our student athletes will see him at an away game, and they're just, they're, their mouth drops saying, wow, you know, you took the time out of your day to, to travel uh, two hours away to see us compete. I would have to say that Dr. Wiley is definitely someone that you need to know. And as a student here at Endicott, you pretty much, everyone knows him. I mean, he's at every event, he eats in the dining hall, at dinner times, during lunch, he says hello to people. Well, Dr. Wiley's leadership uh, is great here on campus. I think the perspective of the student body is that he's dynamic. Um, he's able to take the lead when he needs to. Anytime you can have a leader like that, I think it creates a culture where it's a student body, a faculty member, administrators can come to him for any anything. Um, so, uh, I mean, I can't be any more proud to be here as an Endicott Golf. His leadership style is visible where it needs to be visible and invisible where it needs to be invisible. And one of the ways he leads is by never taking credit. I've never once seen him say, and I did this. He always gives the credit for the success of Endicott College to others, to the staff, to the faculty, to the students. Um, to the physical plant uh, people and the housekeeping people. He, nobody um, is not thanked, nobody is not given credit for the success. He is extremely interested in Endicott College and everything comes from that. He is interested in the big picture, he's interested in elevating the college, and he's interested in every detail of the college. Well, Dr. Wally has uh been sympathetic to the arts and, uh, and taking the program way beyond where it was into not only the visual arts, but the performing arts and the uh, music. And he's expanded the program. He's got three major art galleries. We had one small one. And he's been sympathetic to the arts. Though I have spent 25 years trying to teach him to understand and love modern art, and I don't think I've passed that test yet. but. We're working on it. Thank you, Dr. Wiley. Congratulations. <laughs> on behalf of Reach Peer Education, we would like to thank Dr. Wiley for 25 years of always encouraging students not to leave their friends behind. Thank you. Among college presidents, I don't know if students who attend colleges get the opportunity to know the president of their college or university, but you know and I know that every student here is impacted by his wisdom, by his generosity, by his leadership, and his interest in every human being on this campus, whether it be a student, staff member, faculty member, administrator, doesn't matter, everyone is equal. You know, he's an amazing person. He knows all these, there's 2,000 students here. I, I suspect that he knows probably 90% of them by their first names, and that he's friends with them. That doesn't happen at any other college. He lives Endicott. I mean, it's just unbelievable to, to walk around campus with him and see every student needs, seems to know him. And, you know, you talk to, to students individually about what are their um, remembrances of Endicott, and, and oftentimes it's Doc Wiley. I would put Dr. Wiley in the category of a true friend. 
you don't have to see those people every day, but when you need them, happy times, bad times, they're there. And that's how I feel about Dr. Wiley, that he's a true friend. You couldn't ask for a better friend. You honestly couldn't. And his wife is a peach. She's a lovely, lovely lady and a lady. I guess we'd all like to be like them if we could. Because they are, they are just very, very wonderful people. Well, obviously, a relationship between a husband and a wife who are in education, she, as a teacher of the very young, framing their minds, and he, as a teacher, mentor, leader of the adults, the young adult, getting ready for work, obviously, she has driven some of the success of Dr. Wiley throughout his career. On behalf of Alana Endicott's Diversity Club, we'd like to say thank you for always supporting our mission in fostering diversity on Endicott's campus. Thank, thank you. you! Thank you, Dr. Wiley, for always letting students' voices be heard. Thank, thank you. you! I've always been taken with his passion, his vision, his leadership. He challenges us every day, faculty, staff, administrators, students, to excel, to be better than we already are. And uh, I think about often in, in looking at this 25th anniversary of Dick's uh, coming to Endicott, and that is that clearly that the, the uh, Eleanor Tupper and George Bierko, the founders of Endicott, have got to be smiling on this campus to look back as to what's transpired in the course of the last 25 years. I don't think Endicott could have been what it is without Dr. Uh -huh. Wiley. Dr. Wiley to me is Endicott. Endicott is Dr. Wiley. He's really has done it. I've always said if I could ever come back again, I'd want to take five years at Endicott, the five-year program. I think that uh, its present status, uh, a typical enrollment of 2,500 undergraduates, an opportunity to stay and go to a, a graduate school and get a, a, a master's and now a, a doctorate, uh, what a, a great opportunity for a young person. When you think about impact, that one person could have on an institution, and you think about Dr. Wiley, it's immense, it's huge, the impact that he has had in his 25 years leading Endicott College. Some of us might sit around and say, look at what we've done, look at what we've accomplished. Aren't we great? But he would never say that. He would walk around saying, how can we be greater? It's, 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 it's humorous at times how involved he is. I, I remember last, um, last fall, uh, he was here for a student uh, move-in. You know, one of the parents um, assumed that he was a worker, uh, worker bee on campus and said, hey, pal, will you uh, help us here with our, our bags up the, up the thing? And you know, he didn't miss a, miss a beat, didn't, you know, say I'm the president. He just grabbed the bags and took them right up the, uh, the stairs, you know? That's the kind of guy he is. Dr. Wiley has meant as much to Endicott as Endicott has meant to him and, and to our family. I really believe his strength uh, came from my mother for 25 years of, of her unconditional support. And it's been so many other people along the way. We're certainly happy for him on this day because in the 25 years he's been working in Endicott, uh, he hasn't taken too many days out to celebrate. So this is one particular day that he not only deserves it, but we hope that he relishes it.